Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Can Cats Be Allergic to Cat Litter? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. A cat has a litter allergy if it always avoids using its box. It may constantly scratch, cough, have rashes, or patchy fur due to scratching. It may groom incessantly, be in a bad mood, and mess elsewhere for no clear reason. Also, it may have watery eyes, sneeze, and have swelling around the face. Felines can be born with an allergy or later develop an issue that can prevent them from taking full advantage of their litter space. Similar to humans, the cause of allergies is very much the same for cats. Some litter materials can trigger a response of discomfort. With respect to the properties of cat litter, an allergic reaction can be both behavioral and physical. While there is no medical way to stop an allergic reaction to cat litter, identifying the irritants and then switching to a different type of compound can solve the issue in rather short order. Because allergies can be both behavioral and physical, as we mentioned, some cats will only react with symptoms such as itchiness and sneezing, while other felines will simply display avoidance. Even developing a lack of appetite and stomach sickness due to the refusal to use the restroom. Notable signs of a litter allergy can include, but are certainly not limited to, rashes around the butt or the paws, coughing, avoiding the litter box or suddenly messing elsewhere, sneezing, scratching excessively, patchy fur as a result of scratching or rashes, watery eyes, swelling around the face, and loud meows after using the litter box. Any and all of these symptoms can appear rather suddenly or develop over the course of a period of weeks. For many cats, the connection of symptoms and the root cause can be associated rather fast. This is why some cats don't develop physical symptoms, but they will instead refuse to use the litter at all costs. For example, if a cat, say after 48 to 72 hours, realizes that the litter makes them itch, they'll abandon ship as soon as possible. And while the itch will stop, so will the use of the litter box. Many times cats will handle allergies in their very own way. Of course, litter avoidance in some ways can actually work in your favor as it can be a bit easier to potentially identify the main cause of your cat's distress. If you change your pet's litter, and your cat is quickly back on board the positive bathroom train, then you not only found your answer in terms of the problem, but also your solution. And speaking of the grand solution, selecting the proper litter is critical. It simply goes without saying. This is especially true if you're already well aware of your pet's issues. Hypoallergenic litter can help to ensure that your cat's litter box stays true to comfort, thus making it easier for your cat to use the restroom with confidence. Before you make that litter purchase, make sure the product checks all of the following boxes. Let's start with low dust. It's often the dust itself that triggers the allergy, so limiting this will be quite beneficial. Next up, the purchase of clumping litter. This is often entailed with the low dust options, but it helps to contain your cat's messes and keeps small particles in the litter from getting trapped in your feline's coat. Next up, we have natural ingredients. The fewer artificial ingredients or chemicals, the better. You can find litters made from walnut, as well as corn, pine, or wheat. And we'll mention those again right here, just momentarily. Next, we have purchasing the type of brands that are indeed allergy-free. These are designed for cats that are a bit more sensitive. And finally, human-safe. We 
tend to be more sensitive to allergens than cats. So if it's branded to accommodate people, it's more likely to help your cat out too. And before we close out this subsection, what about litter that's in a pellet form, complete with all natural ingredients? Some prominent options can include corn, wheat, pine, walnut, and other woods. While nothing is indeed foolproof, you'll be placing your cat in the best situation to have bathroom success if you follow these helpful guides and suggestions. Just like various sprays, perfumes, and colognes that can really do a number on our sinuses, cats fall victim to scented litter, especially litter that is packed with artificial enhancers. If your cat appears to have any sensitivities at all in this area, stick with the compound, but go with the non-scented selection. Any and all of this can be a bit of a trial and error process at times, but once you hit on the right product, your cat will certainly let you know. And if you have any questions, never be afraid to contact your vet. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.